What's going on everyone? It's me, your Ramily Damily Doodler, Alex the Rambler here, and today we return oh, for God's sake why does the autofocus just make it blurry? I don't understand. <sighs> Hearts of Iron for Hearts of Iron 4, there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Someone over uh, uh, on my live streams over on Twitch uh, asked me, uh, do, do, do I get these intros done in one take? Usually it's no. My editor can attest to that. So today I'm going to be playing a nation, which I've never really played before. It had an update, so it first had a focus tree with death and dishonor. However, now with the Battle of the Bosphorus, uh, it had an update for any owners of death and dishonor. I'm going to play as Yugoslavia and just see... How uh, we get on, really, with its new brand spanking, foc well, reworked focus tree. So, of course, if you would like more Hearts of Iron 4, please do comment, like, and subscribe. If you're feeling generous, why don't we get this to 5,000 likes? So, uh, as you can see, we begin with Croatian opposition. We have Macedonian opposition. Slovene nationalism. <laughs> we do have uh, the Serbian general staff. Nice. And we have an anti-German military. Okay. Yugoslavia came into existence after the new kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes merged with a formerly independent kingdom of Serbia in 1922. Initially, Yugoslavia joined both the Little Entente and the Balkan Pact to secure their independence, but recently the assassination of King Alexander. Oh dear. Combined with the growing internal pressure from nationalists and external pressure from Italy and Germany has caused drastic upheaval and re-evaluation of their political strategic position. And look at that. Iron Man mode engaged. So, you know, you know I'm bringing it. Bringing um, Ah, oh, so cringe. Mucho cringeo. <laughs> I know I always say uh, I could do a playthrough where I don't go monarchist, but it is not this day. But it is today. Oh my god. While we have historically refused to recognise uh, the Bolshevik state in the East, the time has perhaps come for us to reconsider our stance on the matter! Oh, and not many of you know this, but I actually have a Reddit, so shall we take like 30 seconds and go on maybe Rambler's Reddit corner? Here we go. So I don't run this myself. Um, it's, it's a fan Reddit. R Alex the Rambler if you want to submit stuff. Maybe I could turn this into an actual video series thing. Alright. Adolf in 1940. I do love a Belgian waffle. Very good. Made with Mematic. Thank you, Gordius. Oh my god, here we go. We've infiltrated Paradox. I'll give the DLC a good old Rambler try. We've made it. We've made it. Fantastic. We made it into the trailer. Yep, I'm sure we can all feel this when your Iron Man save game gets corrupted after nine hours of recording. Very true. Alex, 2017 to 2019. Being bad at video games. I can milk you. It's been the case since I started gaming um, when I was a child, so let's change that back to like 1989 to 2020. I'm still here, but that was it. That was the Reddit. If you wanna, if you want, if you wanna see more, do let me know in the comments. And if you've got any fun me 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 me's, do uh, feel free to go and submit them. But yes, we're gonna recognise the Soviet Union. I have a few research slots where I generally go down all of this bippity boppity stuff first. Do we have any... We don't really have any military factories, so... We might as well just queue stuff up for when we do. Infantry spam with tons of support. That's that's what I'm gonna go, Dan. As you can see, I, I don't have many of the achievements. Dracula's Revenge. My, my, my. I don't really care about getting achievements. I've never been one of those kind of completionist people. So the first things first, really, is just to try and... Oh, no, I don't want to recognise the Soviet Union. I lied. I don't want to do that at all. Whoops. Western Focus. Here we go! <laughs> Sorry, I kind of gave you a little bit of a... <laughs> Maybe it will be a monarchist playthrough. <laughs> Sorry, I just remember what I wanted to actually do in my head. Whoops. Good for Turkey. Whereas I'm still a few days behind because I messed up my first national focus on Iron Man, so I couldn't even reload it. All right, reinforce old alliances, bim bam boom. You're going to see what I'm going to get up to, and you're going to be like... You know? I have a feeling this could be quite a quick scenario if I just get attacked from, you know, everyone. Alright, let's attract allied capital. Here we go. We get... Ooh, 
Ooh, negative uh, 5% consumer goods. Thank you very much. Boom, we've got Ally Capital. Then we go and do limited self-government. So we're going to remove the national spirit of Slovene nationalism and release Slovenia as a puppet. But then we also get two militia units. Oh, bo 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 baby. The divides within our nation are clearly too deep and too many to handle with simple reform. Only by granting autonomy to the various peoples consistent to our nation, we can keep the union together. All right, so they have been released, but they're going to start getting, um, well, kind of released. We're going for a kind of devolution here. So I could dissolve the Banat of Serbia. Oh. Okay, so we get rid of the Macedonian opposition and the Serbian general staff. We release a load of nations and we also get militia units. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Sure. The region we consider Serbia is actually home to many people who do not consider themselves Serbian. All right. I'm going fully dissolved. This is going to look horrific on the map. <laughs> I aim to please. Okay, so they're, they're all released and we get some uh, more units now. Very nice. Let's go for a... Huh. Let's go for a dissolved Croatia. In the opposition of the Union, none are more vocal than the Croats. Currently, Croatia is divided between the Banat of Savia and the Banat of Litoral. Yeah, let's just... I, I'm, I'm going to go for as many little nations as possible because this is just going to look... <laughs> oh... Fun. It's going to look fun. I should probably be thinking about doing all the old industry and give myself some civilian factories, but who cares about that when you can just <laughs> devolve your entire nation? Boom! More nations released. <laughs> what next? Yeah, let's divide Bosnia. Sure. Sure. Pazau. Oh my god. What have I done? I've done something beautiful. Oh wow, yeah, I'm already on 94% stability now. So just releasing all the nations and giving people their independence has made people happy. Well, I've fixed Yugoslavia, everyone. I've also run out of manpower and factories, though. So, you know, you give a little, you lose a lot. Okay, Bosnia is now divided, and I have even less factories. I could fortify Banat, Banat for support, or autonomy for Slavic Transylvania. Bam! Yes, give them their independence. Banat will rise. Probably looks like the nationalists are going to win in Spain. What a surprise, eh? Pazow! There we go. Um, I literally only have these chunks of territory left and no factories. Whoo! So I could go towards independence. However, now I've done that, I want to go back to a United Kingdom. So <laughs> I'm reverse Unoing everyone. I gave them their independence and now I'm like, hmm, I want it back. So we currently don't have any debuffs whatsoever. So in theory, as a little minor nation of Serbia, I'm doing all right. Oh, I'm Serbia now. Okay. But I have all of these puppets. So if I wanted to, I could request all of their troops, I think. Yes, give me your troops. I honestly have no idea how this is going to go. I think it's just going to be absolutely horrible. Oh my god, so many alerts all in one go. Ah! Yes, as I was saying, I think it's going to go horribly. Uh, but we'll guarantee religious liberties. Boom. And that will push me to like 100% stability. So that's, that's pretty sweet. And I already have this starting army. Oh! Although I could have done the defense army of Yugoslavia. Hmm, maybe I should have done that. Oh well. I, I've made my bed. And I'm going to have to live with it now. So I may have just screwed myself. And then I'm just going to reunite the kingdoms. Yeah, so Serbia annexes Croatia. That's fine. I need to gain more factories back. I guess once I've done this focus, then I, I didn't think this through. Um, I can try and start doing some of these. Getting some f factories. Wow, we have a lot of puppets. <laughs> Whew. So I just reunited all the kingdoms and I've just got tons of free units. Really? That's what's happened. I just get loads of free divisions. <laughs> sure. That's a little overpowered, but I'll allow it. That's nice. And you don't get any of the debuffs anymore. Oh, Austria's Anschluss. Okay, this is all fine. I'm going to lodge a diplomatic protest against Hungary. You shall not rearm, sir. Sir! France has guaranteed my independence. Thanks. And they're in the Allies, I believe, yes? Oui! Can't believe I gave everyone their independence and then... <laughs> just kidding. I think I just need the military factories at this point, just to actually get any kind of army. I would usually keep developing civilian factories, but where we don't have a lot of time before, I don't know, someone probably attacks us. Nope. Nope, 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 That's not what we wanted, ideally. Because I wasn't really going to go down the Axis route. I was going to try and resist. Because I technically have 300,000 troops, so I would have a chance at holding maybe one flank. If I was just going to be attacked up here then we might hold for a little while. But if if Italy, Germany, and Hungary, and Romania, and Bulgaria all, all attack me at the same time, like, it's 
A game of ale. Wait, so they are still guaranteeing my independence? or then? Oh no, they are still guaranteeing my independence. Thanks, cheers. Okay, it's time to end the Regency. Prince Paul has served his duty to the crown long enough. But with war on the horizon, our people need to see their king stand out strong against the fascists and communists who would break our nation. I wonder if I gave up the whole nation, could I just hold this particular area? <laughs> Should I try this? Is this a good idea? I don't know that it would be. Oh, I just got an achievement called Peter's Pride. You can't see it. As Peter II of Yugoslavia, overthrow your uncle and become king. Hey! How does he get rid of the underage monarch? This confuses me. Like, when does he come of age? How old are you? He was born in 1923. So we've got a little while before he comes of age. I'd be willing to give up a bit of territory if it meant they didn't attack me. Yeah, they'd only attack me if they really didn't like me. Right? I might end up just giving in to German pressure and not joining their war. I think that'd be fine. Let's do local militias. I need the recruitable population, please. Thank you. I also need guns. Like, I really do need... I really do need a lot of weapons. And toad anti-air. And toad anti-tank. And steel. I need a lot of things. This isn't really going as, like, simply as I thought it would. I forgot that he... Well, I didn't realise he didn't come of age. I thought I could just go down and get a royal wedding. Molotov Ribbentrop. Italy's joined the Axis. Yeah, like I could hold Italy's divisions, I think. Because they need to attack into mountains. Oh, those are only hills. Those are only hills. And that's a city. So I'm not as secure as I thought I was. I might just have to do the old... Do, 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 Maybe chuck in some anti-air? I like how my whole defence just rests on holding those particular tiles and... Uh, but, you know, if you're going to be attacked from multiple directions, you, you don't really have much of a choice. Ah, they have the Anglo-Polish Alliance. Things are moving fast. Poland's joined the Allies. Okay, this is all fine. German pressure towards the Benelux. Oh, well, they've, they're, they're steamrolling Poland. Poland capitulated pretty quickly. Italy isn't even in the, in the war, so that's not good. Integrated support. Okay, regimental combat teams. bibbidi babbidi boo I swear in non-historical, Germany tends to get wrecked a lot easier. Whereas now they're just steamrolling and having a rollicking good time. Yeah, they've barely taken any casualties. Uh-oh. Oh, man, I'm sweating now. I'm sweating now. It's, it's central management. Boom. Yeah, France is doomed. I give them maybe a month, and that's being generous. Oh, no, never mind. Paris has almost fallen. <laughs> Whew. That's a lot of casualties, France. Wow. Well, feeling a little isolated now. So I am. God, please leave me alone. My stability's high, my war support is high. Uh, I can get two more civilian factories, brilliant. I just need to come of age. Come on, fella. You can do it. Grow up! Bulgaria joins the Axis. Oh, lovely. If the Axis attack me, I think I'm... I, I, what are their demands even going to be? I'll accept them, whatever they are. But then Italy might just be like, <laughs> I'm coming for you anyway. Hungary's joined the Axis. Oh, they're all jumping on the Axis train, aren't they? Lovely. Lovely. What we need is the USA just to come on in now. Go on. Oh, at least the UK seems, appears to be winning down here. Romania has been carved up. The same is about to happen to me, I fear. The divisions I have are... They're okay, but I probably should have made them 7-2s so they get a ton more soft attack. But I fear it's a bit late for that now. So their piercing increases, their breakthrough increases, and their soft attack increases by 46 points. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's, let's take a risk. But I, I, I fear that it's going to... 3,000 artillery I'm lacking now. Well, I'm screwed. I'm surprised they haven't had an option to send me another ultimatum. Or I'm surprised Italy is also not going after me too. I'm scared. I should not be alive, yet I am. All right. Greece has joined the Allies. Um, Italy's declared war on them. Okay. Well, goodbye to Greece. <laughs> so long. Farewell. Oh, they're attacking Bulgaria, are they? Interesting. Well, I guess because I'm alive... It's interfering with their operations a little bit. Wouldn't that be a treat if they somehow managed to take them out? Unlikely. Let's send an attaché. I just want to see what they're up to. <laughs> they're inflicting casualties on Italy. Good. Almost at half a mil. Greece is only at 15k. Fantastic. Although their whole armies could get encircled down here. They should have just held these two little... Ah, I, 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 I'm, trying to, I'm trying to fix the AI here. Oh my god. I can't believe Bulgaria's managed to do that. Greece started off so well. And then they go and do something stupid, like get encircled. Yeah, I... <laughs> I'm, getting... I'm sweating a little bit now. Whew. Oh my god, look at that. Yep, Greece is gone. As soon as Germany comes to play, it's goodbye. Just drink your mint tea, Alex. Oh man, you hate to see all of that encircled. Look at, look at it. 
disgusting. It's the Allies just taking so many losses. Oh, the UK is almost at a million cash. Oh, that's grim. That is grim. Oh, okay. Oh, Japan's still at war with China. Okay. And now there are... Surely the US is coming in. And yes, yes. Okay. They're at war with Japan now. Good. I might actually be able to get my, my party at this rate. I might be able to have a royal wedding. Oh. Oh, okay. That's kicked off. Mr. Barbarossa. Cheeky little scamp. I wonder how quickly Russia will fall. I'm going to guess in about a year. I don't hold much hope for them. Oh, look, they've already... <laughs> Army Group Centre already beginning their encirclements. My giddly goo. I'm not sure they've ever properly balanced this, have they? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. Oh, my God. Oh, that's horrible. They should leave this pocket. Leave it, AI, please. All right, he was born on the 6th of, De 6th of September, so hopefully he'll come of age soon. Oh, thank God, he's come of age, finally. Okay, so, uh, ascended to the throne long before his time by the dire circumstances of global conflict. King Peter II has at last come of age. A royal wedding. And have the coronation, too. Ooh, let's have a royal wedding first. I do have 600,000 troops ready to defend. Uh, um, <laughs> a few cities, pretty much. I'm giving up most of my territory. But I, I hope this can hold for a little while. The Soviets are actually holding a little bit now. Which is nice. Oh, good. At least other people are joining the Allies now, so I can hopefully count on their financial support. The Groves Nagala. The question of marriage and succession in Yugoslavia has long been on the lips of the political class. So, do I want to marry Princess Maria Francenza of Italy or Princess Alexandra of Greece? You know what? Let's marry into Greece. I think I like that. So I might be joining the Allies, because I think that's who... Gre ah! The young King Peter II has professed his love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How romantic. I mean, that's going to get crushed, but, you know, at least it adds in a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Oh, wow. <laughs> they like launching their naval invasions, don't they? Cool, blimey. For the first time since the dawn of the 20th century, Yugoslavia sees its monarch coronated at the Cathedral of Belgrade. So it turns out it wasn't this day that we wouldn't be doing a monarchist playthrough. What a happy coincidence. <laughs> Royal Alliance, let's do it. Yeah. You'll note that I now have almost 700,000 troops, all fully equipped, ready to go. My aim would still be to hold them, though. <laughs> Unless I'm about to capitulate, then I'll have to, like, try and counterattack. Kudos to the Soviets for holding, though. I didn't expect them to do that. I thought they were going to collapse. Oh, the Soviets, uh... I can't tell what's going on. But especially when they won't accept my attaché. Wankers. Ah, okay, the United Kingdom welcomes us into the Allies. Ah, ha, hello. They want me to join the war. They might need my help. <laughs> so, oh my god, they've overstacked so much. Okay, sure, I'll accept. Help me, help me, please. God, they have a lot of troops ready to just come down on me. I need to keep a close eye that I'm not going to capitulate if I lose all of these cities. Is this 20% of my victory point? Are you kidding me? Oh, they have so many divisions. They actually have 20 divisions trying to attack that tile. They are adamant they want to destroy me. Oh my god. Well, I'm probably distracting a lot of Axis troops that might have been expecting an easy an easy ride. But look, look at all of the... Uh, oh, well, we have a lot of reserves against their four divisions. Okay, now my troops are pretty much fully entrenched. They're doing a decent job of holding. Okay, um, and now we wait, because it looks like uh, Romania might fall soon. That'd be a nice little boon. It turns out Bulgaria, the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria, did hold. I wasn't expecting that. What's pretty nice is that with the uh, second... Uh, look, yeah, we've killed more on the German Reich than the second in, in kills. Do I not have a DLC instead? No, I do. I shouldn't be able to see that Intel ledger, should I? There we go. Oh, I found a little bug. So if you want to see the old Intel ledger, you can just see it all that way. Just click on the actual nation. Well, there we go. So we've taken 33 casualties, 33,000 casualties, but we've inflicted, uh, and this is only to Germany, almost 700,000. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty happy with that. My tactic worked. Now I just have to wait for the AI to resolve the rest of this. They stacked so many divisions, yet they won't even try and push at all. I, I just don't get it. I don't I don't get the AI pathfinding in Hoi. They could have saved about 50 of those divisions and done an invasion in into Germany, you know? If I tried to beat Romania's divisions, I would be unsuccessful. Just taking back a city or two would be a nice little boon to my manpower. Again, the Allies here have so much numerical advantage. Oh, wow. The, the Allies and Soviets combined have lost 18 million men. How? 
Where is the UK has lost 1.5. The US has already lost a million. Oh my god. Oh, and China counts too. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I don't get the AI. I don't get why they're letting Japan just go around doing whatever. Like, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Instead, they stick 100 divisions in Greece. Like, people ask me whenever I live stream. Uh, do, do, uh, do you ever find Hoi uh, frustrating or boring? Yes. When this kind of stuff is a still a thing in the game that's been released for four years. The AI should know not, not to oversupply. <sighs> it's all fun and games until the weaknesses in the game show through. Because I, I, I can't do anything. There's still too many divisions for me to try and push anywhere. And I can't afford to lose my entrenchment. So I'm stuck. Waiting for the allies to do stuff. Oh, there they go. Attacking me again. They can do that all day long and I should be able to hold now. I'm going to walk away and do some stretches. <laughs> I apologise if in my absence I end up losing the scenario, but I need to stretch. I'm very well entrenched everywhere. I think I'm okay. Oh, the allies. They're going to lose a hundred divisions in, in this freaking... I don't... Okay. Just walk away, Alex. <laughs> Am I losing? Am I losing? No. no. Whenever I want to walk away, they start attacking me again. Italy's uh, been naval invaded. Very nice. Still have lots of divisions on my border, but what can you do? Not a lot. I apparently have zero war participant. I, uh, uh, back to stretching. Oh. 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 Oh, well, bye, bye, India. The Allies can't have any, like, rubber or anything left. Wow. Okay, that's what you get when you don't try and stop Japan, I guess. Alrighty, Roo. Some stretchings done. Oh, they still haven't taken Bucharest. Come on now. It would be nice if Italy would capitulate. Are they quite close? Very close. Oh, very nice. Italian Croatia. Excuse me. Oh, look. They've almost linked up with it. Shall we try and link up the four? Oh, no, they might oversupply me. I can beat Italian divisions. Hey! Okay, so we might get some US help. Oh, Boris is dead. Oh, crumbs. Okay, let's build some infrastructure here. I shouldn't have done that, should I? Must not get oversupplied. Take the port. Take the port. We need supply. Pin them. Good. And every little bit of territory I take, I get more manpower back. Oh, Sophia is open. Take Sophia, please. Take Sophia, please. Please capitulate Bulgaria. That would be nice. That would be lovely. Oh, you did. Oh, you've taken... Bu oh, lovely. That's it. Keep it expanding. Get them to move their divisions. Anything to get them away from my border. They took Sophia back, guys. Why does this happen to me? Oh, very nice. Oh, my God. The Yugoslavians are going to do an encirclement. Absolute pog champ. Pog champ. Did I do it right? Take Mostar back. Push them back from whence they came. Back to the abyss. Ah, Dubrovnik is back in the command. Oh, Paris been liberated. Jolly good. Oh, very nice indeed. Yet, they still consider my front a real priority, the old Axis here. <laughs> I want to wait, I want... Just leave me alone, man. Has Italy not capitulated? Oh, they did. Turkey's joined the Allies. Yeah. If you're noticing a change in lighting, I needed to put some extra lighting on, so I'm extra pale now. Ladies and gents, I'm like a ghost. But I've reclaimed um, a fair amount of the nation. Let's take Zagreb. Come on. Yeah, my divisions can pretty much beat the AIs now. I, uh, partly because mine are fully equipped. I've taken minimal casualties in this war, I believe. Well, 129,000. Huh. Well, Germany <laughs> is falling. Yet, they still have a nice number of divisions on my border. I don't understand. Oh, so Turkey's in the war now, I think. Do it. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's just try and close the pocket, shall we? Ah, Berlin has fallen. Ignoring the bit about Pearl Harbor. Can forget about that. Vichy France has somehow reversed naval invaded. <laughs> and taken back Paris. And now France is a commune. Historical, everyone. I'm surprised my units have a chance of crossing all these rivers. Uh, just kidding, they don't. A few of them they've, they've done, though. Oh, Turkey's finally joined. About blimmin' time! Okay, I'm just going for an all-out assault now. Trying to get some... Uh, Extra capitulation points. I mean, uh, war, war, war participation. Capitulation points. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chonky Hugo. Very nash. I think that old uh, Peter the Second's done a pretty good job, eh? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Italy's getting all of the... Huh? I'm very confused. But I'm going to try and get some territory, regardless. I'm making Germany a subject of mine. I don't know how that's working, but... Uh, boop. This is dumb. That I've lost Croatia. Excuse me. Somehow they puppet it. I don't get. Well, that's 
annoying, but on that on that bombshell, we survived. On Iron Man. Bam! You weren't expecting that, were you? So, if you'd like to see more videos on the channel, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be back very soon. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Sturbic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Tad House, Cobby Was Taken, Matt Zoov, Vash, Warren P. George, Dave D.Y. The Don, Valhalla Halls, Yeah Boy, Ryan Cock, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous fan supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!